In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PsycInfo, which is the psychology database available to all students. So you start off by just going to the library website, library.ucmerced.edu, and then once it loads, go to databases and just type in PsycInfo. It's the easiest way to find it. So you can click on databases, type in PsycInfo, hit go, and it'll take you right to this thing called ProQuest. Now, since I'm doing this off campus, I'm getting this little warning saying you're currently not on UC Merced campus network. So if you're on campus and trying to access PsycInfo, you can easily do that. You just click here and you get right into it. But if you're not, you go to this website and you download a little program, which I'm going to start right now. And it allows you to connect to the UC Merced network through a virtual proxy network. And once you're logged in, then you can go ahead, there we go, and click on PsycInfo. Oops, it might require me to reload the page here. There we go. That, that allows you to log into PsycInfo even off campus. So PsycInfo works a lot like Google's advanced searches, but of course it's just going to turn up psychology articles that are in psychology journals. So I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks on how to use it. Let's say you're studying something like, I'll say extroversion. It's actually spelled a few different ways. So in case you want to capture both, you can always do extroversion or, and then this version, extraversion, because it's written a little bit differently in different articles. So I bet if we did a search for this, we'll get a ton of different responses, because this, of course, includes all the search results for everything, including extraversion. And there you see it with the extraversion and extroversion. So some tips on how to whittle this down well, first off, you only want scholarly articles because these are the only things you can actually access online. You can't access books or, or dissertations. So just click on scholarly articles and that's going to whittle it down a little bit. You might also say, well, we don't want anything from 1921 on. So you can drag this up and maybe just go from the year 2000 on. Since there's a lot of articles here, you could easily do that and still have a lot of different results. So those are two tips right away to always do is go to scholarly journals and select publication dates, maybe not as recent as 2000, but you probably don't want anything from the early 1900s. And so this is still a lot of results. So let's say we wanted to whittle this down a bit more. You can always go modify search and add more search terms. Maybe we're interested in extroversion and Facebook, looking at Facebook use. Let's see if there's a search or any articles available for that. And there we go, we have 67. And that's probably a good place to start. Again, we can go to Scholarly Journal to whittle that down a little bit, get rid of any dissertations or books. And the earliest one's 2008, so we really don't need to change that. So once you've got uh, some decent results, and usually somewhere around 100 is plenty, you probably don't want to have any more than that because you're just going to get sort of lost in all of them. But then you want to start looking for things that interest you. So let's say, there we go. This is something that might interest me. It's not all about extroversion. Why Facebook friend count doesn't count towards well-being. So I might be interested in how people express extroversion on Facebook and how this might be related to other variables. So what you can do is click on this article to read more about it. Here you're going to get the abstract. And so we can look at this a bit more. It looks like a pretty big study. So maybe it's looking pretty good. And if you want to get this article, you can also click on the UCE links to pick, pull up the whole article. Usually it'll just pull up the whole article right off the web. Sometimes it'll give you links to do that externally. But either way, usually you can get it. And here it is, the full article. If you wanted to save that as a PDF, you could just click this button right here. So let's say we like this article. We can actually use this article to find others that are similar to it. So one way to do that is to go back here and look at the references. So anything that this article referenced probably has something to do with the topic. So by looking through the references, and it's nice to do this on PsycInfo so that you can see what's actually available, you can sort of look through and see, well, look at this, Pathways to Happiness from Personality to Social Networks. Maybe that's interesting. You can always click on that UCE links and get that article. So references are a great way to go backward in the catalog to see anything that came before this article that has to do with your topic. Another thing, if we go back to the search results, you'll sometimes see this right here where it says cited by, oh, right here for this article. And this one only says one, but basically that means there's one article that's come out since then 
that's referenced this article. This is a way to go forward in the catalog to see things that are more recent. So for example, this one is Why Are Extroverts Popular? Oral Fluency Mediates the Effect of Extroversion on Popularity in Early Childhood. That one doesn't have anything to do with Facebook. So we might not be interested in that, but sometimes it's a good way to get articles too. So that's how to access iConfo and do a few tips on it. The biggest ones are when you do a search, make sure to click on scholarly journals and maybe whittle down the dates. But then most importantly, peruse through your results, look at the abstracts. If you want the full article, just click on UCE links. And then you can use the references to go backward in the catalog, finding similar articles, and cited by to go forward in the catalog doing the same thing. So that's how you use PsycInfo.